Today I woke up and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make an entire game today. The first thing you have to do is you gotta think of a game idea. Now I didn't have an idea, so I stole this guy's idea. My idea now. He made this game called Be Crushed by a Speeding Wall and guess what? He stole that idea from another guy. The game is really simple, pretty much there's a huge wall that attacks randomly and touching the wall is bad because you die. You can avoid it by using the holes in the wall, and if you keep on doing that you'll reach the end, and you'll win. So that's the concept, it, it's so simple. It's like one of the easiest games to make and that's why I chose to steal it. Okay let's start. Right now when you play the game, you die because there's nothing in it. So I created a lobby and a game area and now, it's scripting time. The first thing that I scripted was the wall movement. Yeah, so the game is pretty much done. Uh, just kidding. But it actually <laughs> really is done. There's like that. That's the main game. But we're gonna step this game up. I created a few tiles, and now the game uses those tiles, fuses them together to create a new random map. The original game doesn't even have a random map. So our game is already better. I'm also going to add the wall activation button from the original game so that you can summon the wall on your friends. That's my favorite part, but I don't have friends to summon it on. That's fine. I'm also going to add faces to the wall like the original game. Right now when it's a happy wall, it's green, and when it's angry, it's red. And that's pretty boring. I want to make sure when you die, you die to a beast mode. This is like the best part because I was just looking through the catalog and finding cool faces. No scripting, no building, nothing needed. Right now when you die, your death counter goes up, and there's also other counters like your win counter, your wall activation counter, and you also have points. You get points from winning, and you can spend those points on nothing. They're useless. Imagine money, but you can't buy anything. That sucks, so I had to give it a use. I was going to add different power-ups, but you know what? That's way too complicated for one day. Remember, this is only one day. I don't have time to do, like, anything crazy. So I just made it so that you can upgrade your character's walk speed or jump power. And I also want to make it so that the map gets really scary when the wall is about to attack. So first, I added a countdown so that people just know when it's gonna attack. Then I make the map dark, and I added red outlines around the map, just like the original game. And I gave the wall a random angry face. Beast mode! You should be glad that you're not me, because there were a lot of boring things that I had to do, like placing these blocks around for a whole six minutes. It doesn't sound like long, but it felt like a whole six years. Now the game is done, let's see what I got done in one day. Sorry guys, that, that was a that was the wrong game. I think I think it's this one right here. Okay, this is it guys. I'm gonna act like I'm making a gameplay video in three, two, one. What's up guys? It's me, I newbie. Today we're playing this sick game called Angry Wall. Link in the description, of course. There's an angry wall and it's out to kill you. We need to get to the end. The wall is happy right now, so we can just walk. No 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 no. Okay, we died, but it's completely fine. You know why? I'll just teleport to the end. We got points for winning, that was pretty easy. Now we can upgrade our character, and that's pretty much the game. It's lacking a bit of content because, you know, it was made in one day. I might make a part two to this video where I add more things to the game. I wanted to add a treasure chest that you open at the finish line, some more items, random wall movement, a cool lobby, but in one day that is simply not possible. Bye-bye.